good evening so today i have with me dr damodar cardiologist and uh, dr bharat cardiologist and my team uh, to explain you about uh, art of cannulating coronary arteries uh, while doing angiogram so which goes with our earlier presentations which we have uh, gone through today um yeah so we had little difficulty in radial puncture in this case so we went for ulnar puncture as that is not our focus of interest so i am skipping all those things and our diagnostic catheter is already in aorta now so this is where my catheter is setting so yeah uh, it's a, a tiger catheter so which is in left coronary sinus and once uh, catheter is in left coronary sinus gently pull back the catheter looking at the tip of the catheter so yes so the moment the catheter tips moves up and down like this that means your catheter is engaging left main coronary artery so it it engages left coronary artery now so and you look at the pressure wave so pressure wave is nice so now you are ready to inject so we can take one injection so come to epicordal so you can take all conventional views of you know left system uh, that six views you know few people take four views so based on the lesion you know we can we may extend views so which dr sridhar must have spoken about yeah right so this is an epicordal view we can see obviously there is a ostal led i mean proximal led total occlusion so uh, in this case the cannulation was quite easy lmca was big and uh, you know with the routine technique we could able to cannulate left uh, coronary left main coronary artery yeah, go to uh, lao so uh, with once you know with this conventional method so method of keeping tiger in left coronary sinus and gently pulling back in a lao view if it doesn't work what we have to do so the next step is which i use quite commonly is now ask the patient to take a deep breath keeping your catheter in left coronary sinus ask the patient to take a deep breath so that may work out so sometimes you know uh your catheter just goes in take a deep breath lamba saas leke pakdo yes so and then you push the catheter down so you can see this is how it engages so this is the next thing which you can do and if it doesn't work what is the next step so i'll just show you uh what i do routinely so keep your catheter in left sinus okay so now i'm in left sinus come to rao come to rao see in left anterior oblique view so we are going to see a kind of end on view of left main coronary ostium so so it's like left coronary artery is coming off aorta that is what we see it's a uh, you know the horizontal view right so but uh, see this view works when your left coronary artery is originating from the center of the uh, sinus so if it is not coming from center of the sinus so and most common abnormality is it comes slightly posterior uh, aspect of the sinus so when it comes from posterior aspect of the sinus so that's when we face difficulty so in those situations what we have to do is you need a end face view of sinus so you have to see entire sinus okay from posterior to anterior so to see entire sinus from posterior to anterior or anterior to posterior the best view is come to rao what i did now so this is rao so yeah i can yes yeah now i'll just try to inject a little bit and show you yeah so just give an injection so come to r keep your catheter in left sinus in lao come to rao and inject uh, into left sinus now you are able to see uh, just pass 
full sinus full sinus show me the full yes 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 you pass so now you just see in this case you are able to see the entire anteroposterior segment of the sinus this is a n phase view of the sinus so you now you can just relate your left main coronary artery is coming at the middle of the sinus so when it comes in the middle of the sinus you can engage the way we engage this coronary artery you can cannulate very easily it won't take much time but common anomaly is this ostium comes slightly posterior that is the commonest you know anomaly which i observed they where you find difficulty in cannulating so in such cases in this view what we can do is see as you know uh, keep it as reference so keep this as reference see as you know the sinus uh, you know the coronary origin come a little bit like this so now you can look at the tip right i can yeah see now my tip is moving towards anterior right so when i rotate clockwise my tip moves towards anterior and when i rotate anti clock my tip moves towards posterior so if the coronary is origin is posterior just rotate anti clock right and pull the catheter back it engages when the coronary is coming from anterior rotate clockwise and pull it so i'll just try to engage this coronary yes so now it is engaged so here basically you will understand how your tip is moving whether the tip is moving you understand where your ostium is anterior or posterior and you know how your catheter tip is moving it's moving to anterior or posterior and you can calibrate your rotation clockwise or anti clockwise clockwise usually pushes the catheter anteriorly anti clock pushes catheter posteriorly and once your catheter is in line vertically with the ostium then just pull the catheter back so uh, you can engage coronary see yeah, i can see like this so <coughs> uh, this is a technique uh, you know which we can use and this can be used when you are not able to cannulate left main coronary artery with your guide catheter also so when guide is not sitting so many times what we do just go to lao many times what we do we try to push the guide down so i can't exactly replicate you know your guide maneuvering with this guy a diagnostic catheter but i can show you will just push the catheter down like this okay to engage it so in my opinion it is the most traumatic way of engaging left coronary artery so sometimes you may injure ostium of the left coronary artery so uh, i prefer to come to rao right come to rao view take a shot as i told you already as i explained you already and locate the ostium right locate the ostium in sinus and then see calibrate your movement okay clock or anti clock just to keep the tip exactly under under the ostium where it is visible and then pull it back or little push down so that will engage you know your guide will cannulate left coronary artery but always in such a uh, cannulation of left coronary artery so before you inject you have to see the pressure so never inject without seeing pressure and at times it's always better you know you keep your guide wire ready in the guide catheter and once you engage you send your guide wire inside because most of the times this kind of cannulation uh the guide won't be coaxial with the artery so if you put a wire inside so the guide becomes a little coaxial and you won't tend to harm coronary while injecting your contrast so we can use same technique for cannulation of coronary during angioplasty yeah just go to lao and next common problem in left coronary uh, cannulation is see catheter entering left circumflex in short L lmcas your catheter just goes into lcx 
that's a usual problem which we see. In this case, you know, the LMCA is quite big, so uh, you don't have that problem. But see, otherwise, many times, you know, your uh, catheter just goes to, sorry, LCX in short LMs. So the, this tendency of catheter going LCX, uh, uh, how to overcome this tendency? See, yeah, in such cases, you know, whenever you inject, you can't see your proximal LED uh, better unless you give, you know, very forceful injection. So the best technique is just go to allo caudal, go to allo caudal. So this is a view where you know you can see understand see or where you can uh, you know align your uh, catheter with LED. Just go to allo caudal. So uh, stay there. So I'm just giving a scene. You can see. So commonly in this view. Uh, you align your catheter generally aligns with LCX in short LMs. So, in this view, what we can do is you rotate the catheter, you know, a little bit anti clock or clock looking at the alignment of your catheter with the LED and pull it back. So, slightly pull back because most often it sits in the LCX ostium. So rotate anti-clock and pull back slightly and push the catheter down. So this maneuver basically pushes your catheter into LED selectively and then go and take your view. So you can visualize LED better uh, and you know you can assess LED better. So these are the common problems in uh, left uh, uh, you know, uh, cannulation. So, anything else we have to discuss? Nothing, right? So, now we'll go to right coronary artery. See, go to <coughs> hello. Yeah. So, in right coronary artery, yeah. So, we can just see. Uh, see, the usual maneuver what we do is we rotate catheter clockwise. This is the usual thing. Yeah. And it comes and sits in. RCA like this case okay so again this happens when your right coronary artery is exactly originating from the middle of the uh, uh, right uh, right sinus so uh, this uh, yeah so ca uh, cannulation is easy uh, you won't find any difficulty yeah this is a problem uh, which quite often happens you can see it just went into conus right and uh, your pressure is damping. So, what's the maneuver you can do? You can record this. So, you can show again. So, you just pull the catheter down, right, and rotate anti clock. So, previously to engage, I rotated clockwise, but here you pull the catheter out a little bit and rotate anti clock. So, then your catheter will align. With right coronary artery. Now you can see. So it is aligned with right coronary artery and you can inject. So this is a common problem which we see uh, when the conus is uh, origin is you know uh, quite uh, at the ostium. So another problem which we see uh, in right coronary cannulation. Yeah, what's the other maneuver which we can use? Sometimes you know when your uh, catheter is going into conus, when you try to uh, when you're trying to you know pull it out and uh, uh, trying to uh, keep it in RCA so your entire catheter comes out so that exactly happens when your conus is originating almost at the ostium of RCA sometimes it could be from the sinus also so in those situations what you can do see normally we rotate yeah I'll just come out of RCA just to explain you see normally we rotate clockwise right so yeah this is clockwise rotation okay and now you see it is just facing towards the corners right so in in such cases yeah i'll just go back to yeah my previous position so in cases where it is just facing corners or entering corners you try to engage coronary artery by anti-clock you can see when it is anti-clock usually the catheter faces 
little bit downward or horizontal when compared to uh, you know the previous clockwise uh, movement you can see here which you can observe so this usually in this usually you know the catheter stays in yeah uh, rca so it it just stays in rca usually it won't go into uh, corners yeah i mean but that i have to do at the level of you know rca so this is the level of rca uh, let me do again uh, no so yeah let me do again yeah so just bring the catheter to the level of hearts here and try ah right so yeah oh i think i'm just below yeah again it went into corners all right okay so it's fine so so come bring catheter to the level of rca and take an anti clock rotation and it usually stays in in rca so other technique what we can use is see uh whenever happens you know pull the catheter out right and take a um you know a back end of the wire so uh, you j just give me a back end of the wire so take back end of your o35 wire so what exactly it does so when you send back back end of the o three five wire, so you you can just observe. So what it does, it basically uh, neutralizes your secondary cow. So this is a secondary cow which it neutralized, right? So now your catheter predominantly you know faces horizontal because the secondary cow is neutralized, and you can further pull it down, right? Like this okay so that your catheter faces downward so and it remains in rca so this is another technique which we can use this technique also works when your rca is originating originating very low in the sinus so that's another an abnormality which usually happens when it comes very low in the sinus you just push this wire and you know the tip faces like this you know you can see the tip is just uh, you know uh, facing downward and this uh, works right so yeah so next common anomaly of right coronary artery is rca originating from anterior part of the sinus so this is again one of the common problem which we face so when rca comes from uh, you know anterior aspect of the sinus yeah just let me go in take a deep breath yeah yeah so yeah 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 okay yeah yeah so when rca comes uh, from anterior part of the sinus so what exactly you have to do is see just rotate clockwise the way you engage yeah now you can see my catheter is exactly antero posterior but here you cannot differentiate where your tip is whether your tip is anterior or posterior just come to rao yeah so now you can differentiate see your tip is anterior so we are in right sinus and tip is facing anterior so come to rao 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 view and then pull the catheter back right while giving a small injection so this is something you know which you can do when the see uh, rca is coming from uh, anterior aspect of the sinus so with this you know you can engage so go to lao right so <coughs> the commonest problem is uh, again you know you're not able to cannulate rca with all these techniques so once you use all these techniques still you're not able to cannulate rca what to do so what we have to do is first keep your uh, you know catheter in uh, right sinus and you know your tip fully facing uh, towards uh, uh, you know uh, left of the uh, panel and give a non selective injection okay if you visualize that's fine then you cannulate it if you can't see rca there come to you know rao view 
right and keep catheter anteriorly so anteriorly in right sinus okay so yeah come to rao so keep your tip in anterior part of the right sinus yeah this is what you know anterior part of the right sinus take another non selective you know sinus injection you may see if it is anterior in or uh, if the coronary is originating from anterior aspect of the right sinus still you are not able to see then yeah go to lao okay so then keep uh, you know rotate yeah anti clock and say take your catheter back into left sinus right and left sinus yeah, yeah this is left sinus but rotate little clockwise so yeah okay so now your catheter is anterior aspect of the left sinus if you want you can cross check in rao view come to rao view yeah so you can see the tip is anterior and your tip is in left sinus in lao view so you inject now so you are going to visualize the anterior part of the uh, left anterior sinus so uh, that's a you know next common place where right coronary artery comes that is anomalous artery from you know left sinus so uh, you can visualize so if it is i mean these are the three in non uh, selective injections so one in lao with catheter facing you know left of the panel and one in rao with catheter facing you know anterior aspect of the uh, uh, right sinus and then again in uh, uh, lao catheter facing anterior part of the left anterior sinus so in these three views so you can inject and see most likely you will visualize your right coronary artery somewhere so based on that you can go to specific catheter selection so i think these are the common uh, techniques uh, uh, which will be very useful in cannulating coronary artery uh, both during angiography as well as uh, while doing angioplasty so i think we can end uh, so in this case there is no major abnormality or uh, or problem in cannulation but i think i've covered all the Uh, usual techniques go to lao so so yeah so we'll we can we'll close it here and rest you know we can discuss uh, uh, based on uh, panelist uh, questions and you know our chairs uh, uh, additions to the, the present discussion